Welcome everyone to a brand new Minecraft video and it has been a while as you can see uh, since the last time I actually made a video and a few things have changed so firstly I've basically finished my storage area um, you can see here that's basically empty I mean there are a few stuff in the chest I didn't know where to put them actually I need to make a kind of special chest and other than that ooh, efficiency one uh, we're doing well and up here again there's not really much we, I mean, the farm, iron farm's working perfectly fine. I expanded the nether portal, so it looks cool now, it looks uh, properly good. Obviously the carpet still, you know, needs a bit more. Because I fully ran out of black wool, like somehow. Like I thought I had loads, turns out I didn't. Let me see, I should, I might have some more in here. Okay, I mean, that's not enough though, is it? Let's see if I can uh, cover it up. But today what we're going to be doing is, as you can see here, I have a, shot, a looting 3 um, sword. And essentially what I did was I already did this, but I went into the nether and tried to get loads of wither skeleton skulls. And that's probably why this episode took so long to take out, uh, get out and to record because it took forever to uh, actually you know, get the skulls so then I can actually make a video. Uh, but yeah. So I have um, made some skulls and unfortunately I'm not going to just use them for decoration purposes. I'm actually going to fight the wither today in this episode. And uh, you know that's the plan. And I've found a really good way or really good method of fighting the wither. And basically means I can do it with the stuff I have here. I'm going to switch out my iron sword for my good diamond swords. But other than that I mean I should be fine. So first of all what we're going to do is I need food. Luckily, actually unluckily, um, my cows kind of had a big escape. I patched this up area here, but I mean you can probably, if I, if I break this, wait. Wait. And you can see here, basically there's a huge crater where creepers blew up and everything, and the cows went everywhere, and then I went everywhere trying to kill them. Some went into the nether, some went into the sea, and now over there, and so on. But uh, yeah, we have loads of steak now. Something else that we have is loads and loads and loads of cooked chicken due to my chicken farm, which actually I will show you. So I have one of these chests here. I have um, a chicken chest, so I have cooked chicken here. And that's not all. I have like a kind of automatic cooking station over here. So you can see my chicken farm is doing well. What's it shooting now? It has loads of blockages for some reason. Which I do know the reason, and I honestly don't know how to stop it. Um, but essentially what I do is I put chicken in here, it smelts automatically into here, and then it goes into here. So I have loads and loads and loads of cooked chicken, which is excellent. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my uh, three wither skeleton skulls, get some more food. Uh, let's take this. Um, my sword here, it is, it's a very good sword as you can see. Um, I don't need this, i put this here. And what else? Oh, yes, I need soul sand, which I should have here. No, I think it's in my potions chest. Oh, that's good. Um, put this in here. Yes, I have soul sand, so I need four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, okay, I can use that pickaxe as well. So, essentially, oh, I need far more arrows. Actually, I don't know about far more, I just need more. Luckily, I have a um, Fletcher. I don't put infinity in this mode because infinity and bending, uh, mending don't, uh, w well they do work together but in survival you can't just, uh, you can't put them on the, wait I already have the emeralds, but in survival you can't put them on the same bow. You can in creative using commands, or isn't you can just use commands anyway, um, but as you can see I don't have commands on this world because I'm not cheating, and uh, that basically means that I can either have an infinity bow which will run out, then I have to repair it and soon will be too expensive to repair, or I can just have a mending bow which is always on full durability and eventually whoa, the lag. And eventually uh, you know, I just need to buy arrows from this guy and one emerald for sixteen arrows, that's a very good and I can also sell feathers. There we go. Cool. So that is done. Now actually that is legitimately all I need to fight the wither. You might think, oh, what about potions, etc. No, that's unnecessary. 
I have uh, literally all I need. I just need a good sword, a good bow, armor. I have how much? Okay, 114. I mean, when I tested this, I tested this in creative with actually worse equipment than I have currently. And I didn't even take a single hit. Okay, once again, this is a nice... Oh, okay. Okay. So, essentially, what you need for this tactic is... Wait, let me get some torches. Oh, my God. Let me cut back to when I have actually torches. I'm actually ready. Okay, so I finally got some torches. This is another cave to the one I initially went down into. But, let me just make sure I'm facing the right way north. Good, good. So, what this tactic is, is basically... Um, it's quite simple. You just dig a 2x2 two two corridor. And you plant the wither on the other side. Oh. Oh wow. You plant the wither on the other side. Uh, and essentially because the corridor is long. What was that diamond? Oh my. What the heck? What? That is unexpected. Uh, oh, I should have used my fortune pickaxe. Oh whatever. I don't actually need diamond. In case you realise. I mean. I got to the point where it's actually. Like diamond is only good for experience. And also diamond blocks. So then I can build my house out of diamond blocks. Um, but yes, what level am I at? 17. This is too low, but uh, whatever. So essentially what I'm going to do now is just build a long tunnel. Maybe 100, 200 blocks while facing north. I am like a very long tunnel. I don't actually know how long it should be, but it's better safe than sorry. And I'm just going to put the wither at the other end. And essentially what that means is the wither, like, cause you shoot those heads and... There's a very low likelihood that head will actually go through the tunnel right at me. And if it does, like, it's not going to do that much damage. Oh my god, emeralds. Again, something I don't need, like, whatsoever. Uh, but it's still nice to have. Uh, so, what that means is, essentially, the wither can't really attack me. I can attack him in the first stage with my bow. Obviously, after the first stage, when he's at half health and uh, he's got uh, that invincibility from arrows... Things start to get a bit more difficult, but not too much more difficult. I can just um, shoot him or hit him with my sword. Um, what I've found is that you can get two good sword hits, and then if you cheat back, then that should give you enough time to uh, basically dodge any of his attacks. Now, there are loads and loads of methods of fighting with them. This isn't... Well, oh my god, that was scary. Uh, no. Whoa, how did he hit me? Let me just see how long my tunnel is. Let's see, that is towards negative. Okay. So go from around, let's say, minus 100. And uh, just tunnel through. I have loads of stake. I have, um, essentially, I am basically ready for the entirety of the battle. Um, this is probably one of the easiest ways to fight the wither. There are other ways which are definitely more cheaty. But this one is a good method. Okay, so I'm just about nearly 300, uh, 200 rather, blocks away from the, ooh, the beginning of my tunnel. So I'm going to be doing now is just uh, making a nice area to where I can spawn in the wither. This is very scary. Now, funnily enough, I actually have never, even though I'm obviously really good at the game, I've never actually legitimately spawned in the wither or for then the dragon on survival. And, I mean... The ones I don't know why, I think it's just because I couldn't be bothered to get to that stage of the game. Because if I didn't have all these farms, it would have been very long. Okay, so if I put this to 3 and oh, 4, nope, 4, okay, and then 1, 2. Okay, so now we'll, actually I didn't, do I need to break this as well, just to make sure nothing is connected. So now all I need to do is just put this last with this skull down. Let me just check. My inventory is obviously full from uh, all the tunneling I've been doing, but should be good. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to back away a bit. I don't know um, how large the explosion is going to be. Okay, oh, he's about to go. He's about to go. Boom. Boom. Okay. So you can see I'm doing a fair bit of damage to the. Well, I'm doing a lot of damage to the wither. And as you can see, I mean, he he is he is like he he can't actually. Oh come on! Don't lag now. And he honestly can't do much. Like this is this isn't even a power four a power five, but it's a power four bow. Like could I get a power five? Okay, he's now in, like immune to the thingy. 
And you can see, like, even, even, even with the sword, he isn't doing any damage to me. You know, there are far less cheaty ways of, of well, this isn't even a cheaty way, this is a legitimate way uh, of doing this. But there are uh, ways that are far easier to do. There's, like, the bedrock way of trapping him in bedrock and letting him suffocate. Oh, he got me an emerald. Oh, thank you so much, man. Okay, and he also made my thing lag. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, this is... Like, I was worried. I was like, because I spent a lot of time trying to get um, uh, with the skeleton skulls. Like, I haven't even taken one bit of damage. Like, okay. This is on hard difficulty as well, remember. Ah, oh, look, silverfish. Will the silverfish do damage to me? Okay. So that was... Um, oh, oh, the silverfish did more damage to me than the wither. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Well, I mean, that was quite simple. Um, okay. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic, but at the same time, I, I defeated the wither. So, let me get back home. And, I mean, I might as well end the episode there. I don't actually know how long it is. Um, but I have another episode coming up soon that I have planned. So, hopefully, you shouldn't wait too long. Um, so, let me just get back home and end it. Okay, so, I'm finally back home. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. You can see my village is doing well. Um... And hope to see you soon. Like I said, sorry for the short episode, but I've been told um, my episodes perhaps need to be a little shorter. So, I mean, I've been trying to fill them out with, like, something that you can talk about, like, some good content. Um, but obviously, one second, let me just check. Oh, dear. One second. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's a sneak peek for the next episode, by the way, uh, if you're smart enough. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I've been trying to make them shorter and also at the same time actually packed with stuff like something that you can actually learn or something that actually happens. So either way, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. Hope to see you soon and uh, goodbye.